Welcome back. We're loving uh, single board computers here on Category 5 TV. And this week we're looking at the Odroid C2. Just a quick unboxing for you. You can get these at cat5.tv slash Odroid for, well, currently $46 US. Um, they're not an expensive board. Quickly in the box. That's it. A little bit of instructions there. And the single board computer itself. They require scissors, <laughs> so bring your scissors with you, folks. I'm going to just reach over here. Thankfully, I have some handy. There you are. The Odroid C2 is a 1.5 gigahertz, 64-bit quad-core processor single board computer so it's uh, it's quite powerful quite fast uh, especially for this price point at $46 I'm very keen to find out what the giggle score on this is um, this is powerful enough to use as a home theater system it's got 4k 60 HDMI output um, you could even use it as a general purpose computer if you want to use it for just like web browsing and you know generally um, getting online with a, a single board computer this has definitely got enough power for you it's got two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM gigabit ethernet it's got four usb 2.0 ports uh, and i did see also we've got uh, usb otg over here as well um, we've got a gpio 40 pin we've got infrared this guy i mean this really strikes me as something that I could use for development uh, if you want to just kind of mess around with the GPIO with infrared you've got a couple of different options there um, if you want to start kind of messing around with um, being a maker this looks like a fantastic board I like that it came with the heat sink built in mm -hmm. this is something that I didn't have to purchase separately I did not have to install it this came on the uh, on the single board computer which I really really like we've been looking at home automation smart home this would make a great controller for that as well we've got a micro SD port here as well as EMMC and when I say micro SD I should say that is UHS one um, so it's going to be faster than just a uh, standard like a Raspberry Pi micro SD port and uh, that's all there is to that I mean it's pretty basic as far as what you see is what you get uh, we've seen enough single board computers to see um, what we're looking at here but what can we actually put this in I'm really, really excited about a company called KKSB. KKSB Cases. Um, we're going to have all of this stuff at cat5.tv slash odroid. But check this out. KKSB has sent us a, a C2 case. And what they're doing is they're doing um, steel cases for single board computers. So if I can get into this, let's get a look at this. Because I really want to have nice cases for my single board computers. And that is exactly what KKSB is doing. There we are. So this is, this is not plastic, this is steel. Got a couple of screws there and the top housing as well. So presumably, I'm going to be able just to put that right in here, the C2. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. And this, now we do have four screw holes and we would screw those in for a permanent installation. For today, I'm just kind of showing you how this works. Uh, just to line up everything there. And there we go. Beautiful little case from KKSB. So that is the C2 in a KKSB case for the C2. And that is a nice strong steel case. Now I haven't screwed down the C2, so it's a little bit off, off uh, its uh, axis there. But of course you're going to screw that into the case um, to install that. Just four screws that are included with it. Uh, but that is absolutely gorgeous. They've noticed uh, on the case as well to leave a an opening for the uh, infrared. That's all in there as well. Check it out at cat5.tv slash odroid. That is the C2.